Hey, it's Steve. In this video, I'm going to take a look back at my last 15 layout projects. Okay, so layout number one was a five by 10 foot HO scale industrial switching layout. The layout was roughly based on the Arkansas and Missouri Railroad in Northwestern Arkansas, since I'm a fan of the old Alcos that they use on that railroad. The layout has multiple industries to switch on the front with a few staging tracks in the back. I built this layout over 10 years ago and it was in our upstairs game room until I took it down a couple of years ago. In this video clip, you can watch a train travel around the layout and see a few close-up scenes of different portions of the layout. So layout number two is a small 15 by 20 inch N scale micro layout. The very first video on this channel was of this little layout. The layout features a small mine, mountain, small river area, and is powered by a simple AC-DC wall adapter that is controlled by two toggle switches, one for power and one for direction. I had this layout sitting on a file cabinet until I sold it uh, several years ago. And this was just a fun little display layout that I built and I really enjoyed it. Layout number three was probably my most ambitious project that I've done. Uh, while not the biggest layout, it certainly had a lot in a very small area. I built this two by three foot end scale layout with the goal of seeing what I could do in a small space with no real budget constraints. I really liked this layout because it featured uh, you know, multiple industries to switch. It had an interchange track, it had a tram running on the upper level, and it really had a lot of activity and a lot of detail in a pretty small area. And the multiple levels to the terrain along with the winding road really helped to give the scene a lot of life and interest. And I did sell this layout back in early 2016 um, after spending about two years building it and operating it for a while. And uh, I probably spent over $1,500 on the construction of this little layout. So uh, a lot of money for a very small space, but I think it was really uh, a great project and it turned out really nice. Layout number four was a simple 24 inch diameter pizza type layout that featured a mountain, a small river, a waterfall. It was just a nice display to have a train running on that you could sit on an end table or a piece of furniture. Layout number five was similar, a simple 18 inch diameter layout that featured a basic loop of track, but in this case it was a winter scene with a Christmas tree uh, in the middle and everything was battery powered so it made for a really nice little Christmas display to have on an end table in the living room and so it's just a nice little layout to have uh, around the holidays. Now layout number six was a small one by three foot HO scale switching layout. But, uh, this was a simple angle nook type layout where I had uh, two tracks that held two cars, one that held three to four cars. 
And then the track on the left of the turnouts held the locomotive plus two cars. So the way to operate this was I had a picture card of each car on the layout and then I would shuffle those, deal them out, and then try to switch the cars into that particular order that I dealt out. And this layout sat above my office desk in my office for several years and I would basically just operate it periodically when I wanted to have a nice little five minute break from my regular work activity. Layout number seven is an N-scale modular layout that I built from T-Track modules. And this simple little layout basically uh, was built to take the train shows for people to operate at a booth that I would sometimes have where I'd be selling different things like you know various layout projects or whatever else. And so I kind of just built a nice simple layout to take a shows that you know was that could really pack up nice and small. And I also built a farm module scene here, which you can see as well. So overall, just a nice simple layout. But with modules like this, you can very easily expand it over time as you want. Layout number eight is my one by six and a half foot HO scale switching layout. This is similar to the one by three foot layout that I had in the past, but obviously larger in size. And this layout sits above my garage workbench and I will periodically operate it while working on other different projects in the garage. And I originally had built this layout to fit into a shelf space, uh, which is why it's kind of the size it is uh, in my office, but the office got reconfigured and so this wouldn't fit in there anymore uh, in the current size. And so for now it's gonna stay in the garage but uh, eventually it may find a place somewhere else in the house over time. Layout number nine was yet another 24 inch diameter end scale layout. that featured a simple loop of track and a tunnel, a river and a couple of structures. But this one was actually built for a silent auction at my son's school and raised a few hundred dollars back in 2019. So just a fun project to build, to donate to the school for the auction. So worked out pretty well and uh, I think turned out pretty nice. Layout number 10 isn't really a layout per se, but just a minimum radius test track. So uh, it just has a spiral of track that I can use to see how small a radius different types of rolling stocks, or in this case a trolley, as you see here, can take. And basically I can use it to just run different things on there to see what I can get away with on future small layout projects. Layout number 11 is a 2020 donation layout project that is also for the silent auction at my son's school that I have every year. And this uh, auction was going to be in spring 2020, but because of the Roni Rona, it was delayed until the fall. So hopefully when the auction happens, this one will raise a few hundred dollars for the school like my layout did last year. This layout is O scale in size and features uh, lighted structures, lighted vehicle, um, lighted street lights, and an ON30 trolley. Everything is battery powered and a small 20 by 36 inch size should be small enough for most people to be able to fit, you know, in most places in their house, on a table or wherever. Um, and so it's a nice small portable layout, but no scale. So obviously everything's a little bit bigger. And so for little kids, it'll be easier to run and everything is battery powered. So, so there's no worry for, you know, needing power wherever you have it displayed. Layout number 12 was a small 12 inch diameter and scale micro layout that I built and sold earlier in 2020. Really, it was just to try out a new waterfall technique and I figured if I was gonna do that, I might as well build a small layout around it. And so that's what I did. And so this is a fun little layout project and I think it turned out pretty nice. And uh, certainly it's small enough where you could put this pretty much anywhere, you know, on a corner of your desk or a small table or, or wherever. It makes a really nice little display.
layout number 13 was another 24 inch diameter and scale layout with the same basic loop of track going through some rugged mountain terrain. I use the same waterfall technique on this layout that I used on the previous 12 inch diameter layout. And this layout was also battery powered and featured controls built into the back of the layout. So very compact and uh, again, can be placed anywhere uh, with the battery operation. Layout number 14 is a 17 by 30 inch micro layout that features some industry to switch as well as some continuous running. Uh, like the larger 2x3 foot end scale layout that I built several years ago, this one features structures on two levels to add more interest to the layout and really just is a overall a fun little layout to build and operate in a small size of a layout like this. It allows it to be placed pretty much anywhere. So layout number 15 is actually my current layout project, a two by three foot end scale micro layout that's under construction. It's gonna feature a mine scene using this Glacier Gravel Company kit that I'm going to kit bash and use here in the corner. Uh, then I'll have uh, a bridge and river and waterfall area on the other side. I also have a train station likely in the, in the uh, bottom left corner there of the layout. But uh, overall, just again, a simple layout uh, with one industry to switch there, but really just a nice rugged mountain terrain scene that uh, you can run a train through and this should be a fun project that i'll have a video on hopefully here in a few weeks once it's wrapped up so anyway that's a look back at all the layout projects that i've built in the last decade or so and so hope you enjoyed the video besides this two by three foot end scale layout project i do have a few other projects in the works that'll be coming out later this year into next year so be sure to subscribe if you want to be able to see those updates so anyway that's all for now and thanks for watching bye